Hope you were all well. Just checking in on this Sunday night now here in Pattaya. Just wait for everybody to come on in. So guys, I go to Japan next week. Be there for a couple weeks, maybe a week or two, maybe a little longer, not sure. We will see. How's everybody doing? Welcome, welcome, guys. Just chill out for a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to go the full. We've been doing an hour at a time lately. I don't know how long. I just want to check in with you guys tonight. What's up, Jay? How are you? I actually want to ask you guys. We'll wait till I get, get a few more people in here. But for the guys who are here now, I'll ask the question again later. I'll ask you guys who are here now. Do you guys know anywhere or is there anything that you guys know about Japan that I may not know? Do we have any Japan experts in the room right now? I mean, don't tell me to go to Shibuya, Shibuya Crossing and, you know, the obvious stuff. But if you know any gems or what you guys uh, would like to see or like to know about about Japan, let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Because I've got some, excuse me, I've got some stuff planned, but always open to more ideas. working over here guys it's been non-stop lately videos this week um, are going to be covering the tour package that I've got up for you guys and we've got we've getting we've been getting some signups this thing is rocking I just put it up a week ago we've already got some signups which is a great uh, great thing man I mean I didn't think it was going to happen that fast, which is awesome. So I hope you guys, you know, thank you guys who have signed up and can't wait to have you guys over here. It's going to be fun, man. It is going to be a hoot and a half. Take you guys all around, show you what's up. And what's up everybody who's here, please check in. Let me know how you're feeling today. Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know your name. stuff ready I'm uh, just doing some work on the computer here
I think I need to pick up some. Well, I've got so much footage of Thailand. I think I need to get another hard drive, another external hard drive. But anyways, I digress. What's up, gentlemen? How are you this evening? Just want to check in with y'all, see how everybody's doing. Had a guitar player over here today. Laid down a nice new little beat. So um, very, very uh, inspirational, you know, get me uh, getting moving in the right direction. So, uh, you know, once I get momentum going, we will get this thing rocking. Yeah, I got this against the speaker. I'll play this little snippet of the beat of what we got so far. It's not mixed or anything, so you'll just get a little sample, little idea. We'll check it though. Good little start, you know, it's just a skeleton, but once I turn it into a song, you'll hear it'll sound completely different. But um, damn, that shit sounds nice. Shit sounds nice. I wanna stop marijuana and be completely sober like GP. Well, you're gonna have to take some, uh, the proper steps to do that, my man. What's up, Turin? We believe in you, GP. You're doing great with this sobriety stuff. Yeah, man, I feel um, all of the hangover st stuff and brain fog and stuff has completely exited my body. So now I'm feeling strong, feeling clear, feeling creativity coming back, too. Because that stuff definitely does uh, interfere with your connection to God and your creativity. You know, you got to keep that vessel open and clear so you receive these gifts, you know, from up above. Yeah, man, sounds nice, right? I think I gotta get a new laptop, man. This is like, you hear the beat glitching, that's because uh, the CPU is getting used up. And it should not be, uh, should not be eating the CPU like that. So if anybody would like to invest in buying GP a new laptop, <laughs> I need about five grand for it. That new Apple, that new Apple um, M2 chip is not cheap but anyways i digress guys that's what i was working on today i think that shit's gonna come out tight like i said i'm fully motivated right now so uh gonna be hearing more music stuff gonna try to shoot a video in a music video in japan i've got an idea i'm not gonna say what it is quite yet but uh don't think it'll be hard to pull off. I mean, you know me. Usually I can pull this stuff off. 
I don't think there's been a shoot that I've set out to do that hasn't come, that hasn't come together. Lucky, yeah, sure, it does your light. Powell, what's up, bro? What's up, what's up? So I was out tonight on the motorbike. I went over to Pattaya. You know, I'm in Jam Tien, so I went over to Pattaya. It was crowded as hell, and I almost got in like five accidents on the way. And I'm like, what's going on? And the, so there's a holiday tomorrow. There's a big Buddhist holiday. You know, whenever there's holidays or events when, oh, oh the Patia Music Festival's tonight too. So whenever there's holidays, whenever there's big events, you know, there's more people out and there's people, more people out who don't know the lays of the land. So you gotta be extra careful on your holidays. Extra careful on holidays. And so I'll give you guys a little preview. I'm not sure if this is gonna work out or not, but I think it's interesting and I could share it with you. I found some vlogger, some uh, Japanese vlogger, and he was like, look guys, all of uh, these vloggers stay in the capsule hotels when they come to Japan. And he goes, a vlogger did it and it bl blew up. So all you guys over here stay in the capsules. He's like, we don't really do that. He goes, let me suggest a better option for you. He said, stay, stay in the love hotels. So the love hotels, you know, like what we call over here in Thailand is like the short time room. But you can actually stay overnight in these love hotels. And if you look on Agoda, the love hotel rate is cheaper probably about 10 to 15, maybe $20 cheaper than a regular hotel room. Now, of course you have to, uh, you know, you're in the love hotel, so there may, the bed may get, may have some miles on it, but if you can get past that, then uh, it may be an, it may be a cool option. And also, you know, the, the rooms may be themed when I first came to Thailand, it wasn't a it wasn't a uh, love hotel, but I stayed in a Hello Kitty themed room. I've seen your last videos. I'm more motivated more motivated to take four weeks holidays in Thailand. Pa, is that a pa pa well? What is that? I can't. Is that an L on the last on your 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 last letter, bro? Um, anyway, <clears throat> Pa, I got the tour packages up on my website, so you should definitely do the tour. That way, we can guide you while you're over here. You'll have something to do every day, and you know we'll be here to answer any question and anything you need. We can kind of assist with that while you're here. I think that's the main um, advantage. Paul, Paul is also correct. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But I think that's one of the main advantages of doing the tour package is uh, you'll have like a, a guide to kind of look after you um, the whole time you're here. I used to ride from Pattaya to Bangkok in under 50 minutes on the motorbike at night. Not sober sometimes in flip-flop. Well, in flip-flop is kind of normal, but not being sober, you already know, that's rolling the dice, my man. And you, you know, they say you can hurt yourself, but even worse, you could hurt somebody else. When I was doing when I was doing that stuff, you know, it's very the mind is the mind and how you feel and how you view things. It's it's not to be taken lightly, guys. This is serious. This is fucking this is really really serious. 
and to get on a motorbike and roll around drunk it's it's there's a lot to be explored there on like why you would even think that's okay. And I've done it before. I was out here zipping around on Second Road. Second Road is like a wider road that you can drive really fast on. I was leaving Patia and zipping down that thing. And it's, it's almost like a form of like a suicide attempt in my mind. Because you can't, you, I mean, you know, and you know in your gut, you know in your soul that what you're doing is not right. You got to know that to a certain extent. So I don't know where you're at with uh, your relationship with this stuff, but examine it, you know. The stuff is serious. If you got goals, I mean, even not even if you have like a, a crazy goal you're trying to reach, just to be there for um, your people, man. To be there for your mom, your dad, your nieces, your nephews, your friends. You know, you want to be the guy that they can uh, call if they need you. It's important, man. What's up, Ash? Low season, the road is quiet at night. Yeah, I mean, um, T T B H. I forget what T B H means. Oh, to be honest. <clears throat> yeah, man. So low season is coming up in the next couple months. I'm interested to see if there's even going to be a low season this year. Because I think people are so... Uh, Many mistakes, 2017 to 2019. Yeah, man. I mean, if you guys knew, I, I really can't like, I don't know. I don't know how much I want to tell you guys, but it's like shit was just like towards the end. I was just getting in like these weird like altercations. And I was just like, what's what's going on? What the hell is going on? Why am I finding myself in these situations? So that's why I was just like, something needs to be looked at because I'm kind of dodging really, really b bad shit could, could, could have gone down. And uh, I don't know, man. just by the grace of God, nothing really bad happened. Well, I'm going for a haircut tomorrow. <laughs> I should do a video. You know what? I'm going to do a video about alcoholism this week. I'll do a video about alcoholism. I'll do a video about how alcoholism, what we've seen in Thailand. And also, I am going to AA, guys. So I, I will... Uh, I can't show anything from there because AA is anonymous, but um, I can talk a little bit about my experience and how it's helping me tremendously, not only with the alcohol, but in other areas of my life. Um, one thing that I've learned that I'll share with you from, from this deal, from this program, I learned that alcohol is not necessarily not necessarily the only problem, but there's um, other issues that cause the alcoholism. <clears throat> Haircut, and there will be so many great chicks around. I would like to know. I would like to know where the best place to get a blood test. The clinics of the hospital. Ash, are you, uh, oh, check your vitamin levels. Um, <coughs> watch that last, uh, 
watch like two vlogs ago. I think it's titled, here, hold on a sec. I'll check for you. It's titled like a gentleman's club, but in, Your business can't scale on but in that video, I went to a place, a vitamin place, and they gave me a B12 drip. Is that why you're asking? Did you see that video? But if they can't do it there, they will definitely be able to uh, recommend somebody for you. And whenever I need to uh, get checked out, I go to a place called Pulse Clinic. I should actually see if they'll let me do a video. This place, um, they have an interesting way that they present themselves. I think I've talked about it on the channel before. But um, when you go inside, it's, it, it's, it feels like you've entered a nightclub. Like there's like plush art on the wall. They got music bumping. Uh, most of the staff is like young, good-looking people, and they're uh... <laughs> they they know why you're there. They know they know you're there to get checked up, and they're um they're very cool. They're very cool. But if and they make you feel very comfortable. That's uh the main thing. So Pulse Clinic, P U L S E, and they have it in Bangkok and Pattaya. I think they have it in Phuket also, but just look it up. Okay, so the video that I'm talking about is uh, this one. This one with this girl right here. It says $20, $20 hotel in Gents Club and what to do in Pattaya, Thailand. Look for that one. Um, maybe about four minutes in, I'm sitting down with the doctor and she gave me a B12 vitamin drip. And she wanted me to have, to promote to you guys to get something called the P-Shot. And they do four, they take your plasma, which is your blood, they do a blood draw from somewhere else in your body not out of your banana and they spin it and then they give you four injections into your banana. I did not do that. I did not try that. I just did the B12 vitamin drip. So if you want to try it, if you mention my name, they'll give you a thousand bot discount. But, um, it's up to you, gentlemen, if you want to do it. I have, I have no, uh, no opinion for you on that one. Good or bad. Totally up to you on that one. <clears throat> Lucky says, alcohol is not the problem, it's the person. Oh, it's the... Per person, okay. R.S. James, Jeffrey, have you ever been a pimp? So pimp in paradise kind of means more like feeling pimped out, feeling like good. But um, to answer, put just answer your question specifically, I have never been an actual pimp. I have kind of assisted with things. I helped like with um, photography and the posting. They used to post on Craigslist. There was a site called Craigslist back in the day. And um, so I was, I, one of my buddies had a girl that was doing it. So he was the actual, he was the actual pimp. And I was like, in. <laughs> the technology side of it. <laughs> and um, I had a car too, so I was driving. So I was the driver. 
So it could be considered, I mean, you could say, I could tell you guys that I was, but think more more of an, an, an laying an assist on that one. Um, but I'll tell you guys something that happened. It was more of a scare than um, actually something happening. The girl was on a date and she went like over her time. And me and the me and my boy were together who had brought the girl. And we start, we get this like, both of us kind of get this like bing. Like when she didn't, she didn't call for like three hours after. And so we just kind of look at each other and we're like, is this girl, is this, has this girl been murdered? And I'm like, the pictures are on my computer on from Craigslist, like, am I about to go d down for this shit? <laughs> so that was kind of um, mentally the end of it. And then like, we're panicking. And then like 20 minutes later, the phone rings and she's like, come pick me up, guys. I got big money. <laughs> she had um, met some movie producer. We were in, we were in LA. So, and she was in Marina Del Rey. Marina Del Rey is an area where like a lot of like uh, movie producers and high level executives and shit live in that area. And uh, that scare kind of like brought back the reality of like what it really is and uh, didn't want to be a part of it after that. You know, shit sounds, certain things sound cool, but then when you look under the hood, you're like, you want really want nothing to do with it. Usually the best way, guys, is to do things by the book. Not cutting corners. Not looking for shortcuts. Not doing shit the cheap way. You dig. But I'm liking that you guys want to talk about some real shit tonight. That lets me know to, uh, you know, I want the content to be to be really more, really more, uh, you know, soul touching, if we can get it there. I think everything's been entertaining thus far, which is great, but we can get realer too. I hope. It just sucks when I do like some real shit and it gets like 200 views and then I just do some shit with like showing a lady boy and it gets 4 million views. But I digress. So we got 14 in here right now. Can everybody check in? Can everybody say what's up? Say, Tell me how you're feeling today. Tell me where you're from, where you're watching from. Let me know when you're coming to Thailand or if you're here already. Robbery, what's up from Norway? What did Tate say PIMP stands for? I think he said positively inspiring many people, something like that. Ash, I am here in a few weeks. Eating breakfast in Canada. Oh, that's what's up. What are you having for breakfast? Den Hung, Netherlands. Right on, right on. Toasted roast pork sandwiches. Nice. Very nice, very nice. 
So guys, do you do you guys know about Kowloon or um, Kowloon Island? It's an island just like twenty kilometers, twenty thirty kilometers away from Patia. You take a ferry over there. It takes forty five minutes. The ferry is thirty baht, which is one dollar U.S. Uh, very nice ride. You get the sea breeze. It's not choppy. People um, people take speedboats over there, but the speedboats will like fuck up your back, fuck up fuck up your neck. It's not comfortable. It's not fun, and. Uh, the ferry is like 10, 10 minutes slower or something like that. And it's quite nice just to sit up there, chill, look at the ocean, you know, take in the breeze. It's, it's very nice. Um, but anyway, the reason I'm telling you this is I've gone to Kowloon the past two weeks. And uh, I think I'm going to go like once a week from here on out because it's so close to Patia. And you get this little day trip. They got nice little coffee shops over there. They got nice restaurants. They have this beautiful beach. I've showed you guys um, the beach a couple times in videos. It's called Ta Yai Beach. It's not the one that most of the tourists go to. It's more of a smaller one. And the water is this clear, blue-green, absolutely gorgeous. And um, me and my buddy were sitting there. We're like, do we need to go to Krabi when we have this right here? So it's like, dude, I'm not even going to go to Krabi this year. Like, there's no reason to. If we got this right across the bay, there's really no reason to go to Krabi. Really not. So if you look on the, um, Ash, if you look on the Google map, it's the top of the island, and it's called Ta Ta Yai, I believe. Hold on. Kowloon. So it's only seven kilometers away. Sorry, guys. Super close. Yeah, it's called Ta Yai Beach. T A Y A I. T A Y A I. Normally, when the ferry arrives, it brings you to. Let me see. Hold on. Yeah, here you go. It brings you to this side over here that this Na Ban Pier and then the beach is like right here and that's where all the tourists are at which is fine there's restaurants and stuff right there you could chill right there if you want and there's also a big Buddha mountain watch my um Kowloon video it's like a 30 minute or 40 minute video it's like very much like you're there And I'm going to put together another one for you guys this week. But yeah, man, it's like my new, it's my new happy place. <clears throat> yeah, it's this one. Watch this video after, you, after we get off. It says, $10 cheap travel with my queen. Patia, Thailand, Kowloon, Kowloon. You see that? I'll put it as a post for you guys. So this location is day two of our tour.
And guys, the tour package is available at www.geoffreypeterson.com slash tours. Okay, so I just posted that one as a uh, as a post. You can check that out. Good video. The girl's name that's in that video is Tan. Fun girl. She looks like Queen Apatia. She looks she looks like she could be Queen Apatia's stunt double. And uh, nice girl. She's in Australia right now, and I think she's gonna be there for the next couple months. But uh, when she comes back, she'll probably jump in another video. Good girl, nice girl. Would you recommend stay one night or a day trip? Man, I've done day trips over there, but I want to stay. I think it'd be worth it to stay a night. I think it'd be just fun. It'd be quiet, and there might be some um, there might be some nightlife stuff, but I, it'll be very minimal. But I think it'd be fun though. Tours can only stay there four weeks. If I would like to, st I, I would like to stay longer. Have it report to pay for the extension. Asar, thank you, man. Mr. James, thank you, thank you. Um, Paul, yeah, you can, you get the 30 day, no, I think you get 45 day when you arrive, depending on your country, and then you can do a 30 day extension. You got to look it up um, for your country because it's different for different countries. I know for US I get for USA I get 45 days and then a 30 day extension. But I think for like India or something like that they were only giving them like two week extensions or something. I'm not sure. But uh look that up. Look that up. Oh, I'm tired. <sighs> been busy man i really didn't want to jump on tonight but i wanted to check in with you guys i told you guys i would do sunday nights so i'm sticking to it and i'll figure out you know since i'm going to japan next week we'll um i'll figure out a set time for you guys i'll post it so we can get people here in advance Worst scam stories. Um, I don't know. Scam stories. I don't think I've ever really been scammed. I don't think I've seen any scams really. We got in a car in Bangkok and the guy had like 200 on the meter already. But um, I checked him on it. And so we worked that out. But maybe he was trying. I don't know if he forgot or if he was trying to pull a fast one. But I checked him on it and it did nothing. It, we got it taken care of. Um. 
Oh, one time in Bangkok, I was going to like the Golden Temple and someone approached me in that neighborhood, in that area, the old city area. And the guy said, hey, the, uh, the temple is closed today, but I can take you in the tuk-tuk around town. And um, I think someone had just told us like, no, he's lying. It was either that or I'd seen a YouTube video like the night before and they explained that these guys will lie to you and tell you that the temple's closed so they can take you around in their tuk-tuk and they'll take you to like a clothing shop, they'll take you to a souvenir shop and like they basically leave you there until you buy something and they get a kickback from that. They get a commission from the store owners. But I didn't do it. I just, I did encounter it though but I didn't actually take the tuk-tuk with the guy. How about make a video on this topic? Scams? Yeah, I could, I could. I think a lot of stuff that happens over here is um, people being naive. So like, I'll give you an example of how I was naive. When I was drinking, I don't know if this is, I can't, I can't really blame the person that I'm going to tell you about because I was dating her, but I was, <laughs> it's kind of weird how things can work over here, right? I was dating a bartender, but I was also like in the terms of the business, I was drinking there. I was drinking at her bar. So I was also like her customer. And because I was being getting drunk every day and going to the same place, I spent a lot of money there. And um, is that her scamming me to spend that money in that bar? Not really. It's like it was I had a free. Now, did she did she ask me to come to her bar every day? Yes, she did. But I didn't have to go. So what, what my point is, is most guys kind of, they may say they got scammed, but they kind of offered themselves, you know, they played it, they played their part in the scam. If that makes sense, I hope that makes sense. Do you guys follow that? Do you understand what I'm getting at? You really need a Thai massage. Yeah, you know what? That would be great. Actually, I'm, I'm probably going to go to sleep after I get off with you guys. <clears throat> I've been waking up very, um, very early. That's why I'm so tired. And I was um, out all day today. Did a bunch of stuff. It's... It's been fun. Man, sober life is fun, guys. I don't know where you guys are at with uh, with your drinking and you know what you guys are trying to accomplish, but uh, I can tell you things are going good right now. And you're gonna you're gonna see more uh, if you haven't already noticed. I don't know if there's been a dramatic change yet, but um, I can tell you on my end, I've got more energy. So I think you guys will start seeing some changes in the content in a in a good way and i don't think i've been drunk in any videos you guys may have caught me on a live stream or two or maybe a few videos but i pretty much produced the videos sober but it's still the um you know still the just the act of <clears throat> still being in and out of it you're not your 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 function isn't 100 percent, and right now my function is 100 percent. but let me ask you guys how are you guys doing out there mentally physically spiritually 
How are you guys doing, gentlemen? Oh, John, sorry. You said, asked if it's midnight. No, it's, uh, it's 11 p.m. Sometimes you think people are your friends, but they're only after your money. That's why I asked about scams. Well, that's a good point. And, uh, and yeah, there's more to that story of the bar. I think you can watch... Um, Watch my video on what it's like to date a bar girl. I think if you just type in Jeffrey Peterson, what it's like to date a bar girl, that one will come up. It's a good video. And I explain in that video in depth the whole story of uh, how I got scammed by them. I don't think I really got scammed. I think I played my part in it. But I detail in, in there that um, I thought the whole, some, some things happened at that bar and I thought that the staff was kind of like fam friends, nearly family, but, but uh, when it came to the money and comparing me to another customer who was a big spender, they turn their back on me very quickly. Watch that video. That's a, it'll it'll be a good watch. <clears throat> Still making shapes to pimp in paradise. Still making shapes. Oh, sorry, you've seen that video? Fat Boy Slim, thank you, thank you. All right, guys. Well, I am beat. This was a good little session. I'm, I always like it when you guys like to talk about real stuff. <clears throat> Shapes as in dancing. Okay. YMCA. So I think I'm going to go ahead and log off, guys, unless anyone has a last-minute comment or question. I don't mind if only a few people are here, Asar. It's not that. I'm just tired. If you nine, if you nine guys that are here right now are interactive, I'm fine to, stay on, to, to be on. I'm happy to be on. I'm just tired, though. I'm just tired. I'll be honest with you. I just wanted to check in with y'all and prepare for this new week that's coming tomorrow. Monday coming tomorrow. Going to be good. Got to do my uh, Japan planning this week. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump off. If you do have a last minute question or comment, go ahead and get it in. Thank you, John. All right, guys. You guys have a good day, good uh, morning, good evening, where, depending on where you're at. Yes, sir. Fatboy Slim, Tokyo and Osaka will be next. And uh, I don't want to bother, but thanks for the info. No problem, man. Happy to uh, provide the info. All right, gentlemen, I am going to sign off for tonight. Uh, tour package information videos coming this week. Going to hit you with uh, Kowloon. 
uh, Gentlemen's Club tour to, to promote the Gentlemen's package. Pool party. You know, we're going to have a pool party on the, uh, during the tour hosted by me. So that'll be dope. And then we're even going to go up to a temple. So I'll get y'all a little bit of spirituality in there as well. But anyway, guys, go ahead and uh, check out the website. Check out JeffreyPeterson.com. Check out the videos that I mentioned during the stream. I think both of them, uh, both the Kowlon, the Kowlon video is fun to watch, guys. Check that one out. I just posted that one under the community tab. But anyways, gentlemen, I hope you guys are have a great week. I will see y'all soon.